And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between AFC West rivals. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Tonight we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup as it'll be our visitors taking on our home team. With my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, you look at our home team here, it's such an advantage playing at home in front of these fans, just in terms of having the crowd on your side. And you know you'll have them right from the first snap. The key, how will you play in order to keep them on your side? That's how it works out really well when you put it all together. And meanwhile, for our visitors, of course, winning on the road is never easy. What do they need to do here to give themselves a chance at victory? Two things come to mind. Either come out swinging big right from the start or treat it like a golf tournament. Don't shoot yourself out of it early. Just hang in there and settle in. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out comes the NFC for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He finds his man complete. It's George. So just three yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And the NFC punt team out there now. They'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading them out, their signal caller. Now it is fourth season in the NFL. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. He brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. A gain of three, second down. 
It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he cannot get rid of it. The NFC getting in there for the sack. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So now we'll get our second look in this game at the NFC offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second and nine. Now back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll look to throw here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Only able to gain a couple there, and now it's third and four. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a gain of four there, and it gives them a new set of downs. That's just what you call a chain mover right there. Nothing fancy. Get the ball out to the back, and you're asking him to make a little bit extra out of maybe what is nothing, and he does exactly that. Picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, but we're not saying chain mover, but we're saying laser pointer. Picks it up for the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's George. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do, what do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going. Because if so, they're hard to deal with, and it makes for a long evening. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So, I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. On first and ten, Travis. Got a man here, it's Wilson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
A good pick up there, 26 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the gun, Travis. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because coverage was all too aware that this close to the end zone, He's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. James Wright from three yards out. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit... Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? I'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. Shot that's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. 
Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Back to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Second and 13. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw as they've got it as we resume action. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just got to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good steam going. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and ten. Throwing again. Travis. A quick throw there is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Travis. Well, the NFC pressure a little too much as they get home for the sack. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the NFC will take over first and ten. He finds his man complete. That's George. 
And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The offense on third down today. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. They'll drop the throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And it's fielded at the 34. 35 yards that time on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Looking to throw on second down. Travis. Open man here is Benson. Two yards on the pickup there. And now one yard to go on third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Looking to throw, Travis. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throw left side complete. That's Young. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. to throw here. 
Finding room at midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. First down, he'll drop to throw. On the move past the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. Well, I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he will be taken down, but not before he's got the NFC first down. So they take a chance on fourth. Why not in this game? And it's going to pay off with a new set of downs. He'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. When you're running the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of a team. And they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. The NFC set to kick off as this one's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. 
And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Now a second and ten to throw again. Travis. Wright's got it. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Third and four. He's going to get that to his run back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. He completes it to Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open down the field. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense to throw on third down. Travis. That is caught. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing on first down. Travis. He's able to get it to Coleman. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards on the play. Because to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in the double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. On first down, Travis. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick is indeed good. And that will do it for this first half. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, we Coach, thanks as an always. This one's half. still anyone's game. Both these game teams with some high points back and maybe a couple of low points three. as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. The return man is Hill. Returning it, Hill. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. 
And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again. Travis dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Throwing on third and long, Travis. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. And they'll send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Now the NFC heading out for their first drive of the second half. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It'll be a gain of five, and third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. He's got it. The ball comes out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. KC's offense ready to take over. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. To throw again, Travis. Complete to running. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second down and four. Back to throw. Travis. And right with it here over the middle. Seven yards there on the first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's right. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he cannot get rid of it. The NFC getting in there for the sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll set up to throw. Over the middle complete. It's George. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to go up top again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. In trouble, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. An assortment of sacks in this game. This one the product of a good jump and terrific effort. Moves quickly off the snap of the ball. Doesn't let up until he's in the backfield and impacting the quarterback. And the NFC punt team out there now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for 
is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. From the 47, it's second and five. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, giving different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And down inside the 15 he goes. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some. And made that snap a huge. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in and that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. A 16-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 17-3. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The NFC offense heading back onto the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. And he'll find his man on the end route. Complete get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that could really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He sets to fire deep, and that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail, as time will expire on this third quarter of play. The offense on third down tonight, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and four. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's George. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. A little juke. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Every player I know tends to play the game in his mind before it actually happens. There's no way he thought that at this stage of the game, this would be his first big run like that. Yeah, but it's got a feel for him like the floodgates open a sigh of relief. Now we'll see if things can open up for him. See if it can continue. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get... And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the NFC has now cut it to within one score. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now here comes Kansas City. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Travis. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Benson. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle and head into an okay game. It's a game of 20 and picking up the first. Certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and six. Back to throw again. Throw complete to Burrow. 
And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Benson. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Operating from the gun, Travis. He finds his man complete. It's right. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Travis. And that is incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone? And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Great effort there. His second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to extend their lead. And that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pushing his way through. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to air one out. Oh, wide open, complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. A big play there. 73 yards. And the NFC able to draw a bit closer. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you've got to take some chances you might not normally take. And here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that pay off big time for them, but what was going on on the opposite side of the ball? They know that they have to take a chance here. They know they have to come up with something big, yet it still happens. So credit the execution, but wonder what the defense was doing. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Second down. It's Benson. And a 42 yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up. First down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On first and ten, Travis doubles for the grab over the middle. Here's second and three. the middle they go. Benson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the NFC going to take a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On second down now. It's Benson, and he is going to have a first down here, and that should be the one that seals a victory. And they take a knee. One final kneel down here, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. 
but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting, but in the end,